Welcome to our most popular ASVAB automotive information test, 50 questions with fully explained answers. Good luck! Question 1, which system is required to start an automobile? A. Electrical. B. Lubrication. C. Exhaust. D. Drivetrain. Questions 1 Answer A. Electrical. Explanation A car's electrical system controls lighting, starting, charging, and accessories. Question 2 Which of the following is not part of an internal combustion engine? A. Piston ring. B. Connecting rod. C. Clutch. D. Cylinder head. Questions to answer. C. Clutch. Explanation. The clutch is part of the drivetrain system. Question 3. In a four-stroke engine, which of the following is not one of the four strokes? A. Intake. B. Compression. C. Outtake. D. Exhaust. Questions 3 Answer. C. Outtake. Explanation. Each stroke is the movement of the piston from one end of the cylinder to the other. The four strokes are called intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Question 4. In the diagram above, what is the location of the fuel pressure regulator? A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. Questions for answer. C. C. Explanation. As pictured above, the fuel pressure regulator regulates pressure in the fuel rail according to intake manifold vacuum. Question 5. Which part of the fuel system sprays a fuel and air mixture into the engine's combustion chamber? A. Fuel pump. B. Fuel injector. C. Fuel filter. D. Fuel pressure regulator. Questions 5. Answer. B. Fuel injector. Explanation. Fuel injectors atomize the fuel by pumping it through a small nozzle under high pressure. Atomizing the fuel is the process of breaking it into a fine misted spray. Question 6. What part of a car's exhaust system is responsible for turning the toxic components of engine exhaust into less toxic compounds? A. Cylinder head. B. Exhaust manifold. C. Muffler. D. Catalytic converter. Questions 6 Answer. D. Catalytic Converter. Explanation. After being collected in the exhaust manifold, exhaust gases are then sent to the catalytic converter where toxic pollutants are converted into less toxic compounds by catalyzing a redox reaction. Question 7. Which of the following is the location of the differential on the drive axle? A. A. 
B B C C D D Question 7 answer D D Explanation A differential allows cars to rotate at different speeds as the car goes around a corner. It helps the drive axle split the power between the two drive wheels. Question 8. The brake caliper is an assembly that houses the A. Drum brakes. B. Brake shoes. C. Brake boosters. D. Brake pads and pistons. Questions 8 Answer D. Brake pads and pistons. Explanation Disc brakes slow the rotation of the wheels using friction, which is created by pushing the brake pads against the brake discs with a set of calipers. Question 9 The part of the tire that grips the rim of the wheel is the A. Bead. B. Sidewall. C. Shoulder. D. Ply. Questions 9 Answer A. Bead. Explanation The bead is the inner edge of a tire. It is normally made with high strength rubber and is reinforced with steel wire. Question 10. If one complete revolution of the steering wheel causes the wheels to turn 20 degrees, what is the steering ratio? A. 12 to 1. B. 15 to 1. C. 18 to 1. D. 20 to 1. Questions 10 answer. C. 18 to 1. Explanation. A complete revolution of the steering wheel is 360 degrees. Thus, the steering ratio is 360 hours 20 minutes which reduces to 18 to 1. 360 20 equals 18. Question 11. An internal combustion engine in which the cylinders are aligned in two banks, which are at an angle to each other, is known as a a inline engine, b rotary engine, c v engine, d boxer engine. Questions 11 Answer C. V Engine Explanation The angle of the two cylinder banks makes a V shape. Question 12 Drill bits can be loosened and tightened using A. A. Bit B. Flux C. Chucky D. Bender Head Questions 12 Answer C. Chucky Explanation The chuck is the part of a drill that holds the bit. A chuck key is used to tighten and loosen a drill bit. Handily, the chuck of some drills are now adjustable by hand and do not require a key. Question 13. The four strokes of a four-stroke engine cycle are, in the correct order, A. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. B. Intake, power, compression, exhaust. C. Intake, exhaust, compression, power. D. Intake, 
compression, exhaust, power. Questions 13 answer, A. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. Explanation, during the intake step, the engine receives fuel to burn. Then the fuel is compressed, then the fuel is burned, power, then the exhaust is released. Question 14. Welders using the electric arc welding method wear face shields to protect themselves from a. Gamma radiation b. Ultraviolet radiation c. X-ray radiation d. Microwave radiation Questions 14 Answer b. Ultraviolet radiation. Explanation During this process, the electric arc give off a dangerously high intensity light, ultraviolet light. Welders must use protection or risk burning their skin and eyes. Question 15. If the distance between two parallel sides of a bolt head is 3 eighths of an inch, which socket drive size should you use? A. 8 thirds. B. 3 eighths. C. 1 half. D. 2 1. Questions 15 answer. B. 3 eighths. Explanation. To loosen or tighten a bolt, you should use a socket that matches exactly the measurement of the bolt. Question 16. How does an increase in pressure affect the coolant's boiling point? A. Decreases it. B. Increases it. C. Does not affect it. D. Any change in pressure triggers boiling. Question 16 Answer B. Increases it. Explanation The boiling points of liquids are increased with increased pressure. And conversely, liquids boil much more quickly at high altitude, like at the top of Mount Everest and can leave boiled foods uncooked. Question 17. Automatic transmissions transmit engine torque to the transmission via A. A. Torque case. B. Torque axle. C. Torque shaft. D. Torque converter. Questions 17 Answer D. Torque Converter Explanation The torque converter is a type of fluid coupling that connects the engine to the transmission. Question 18 An inside caliper measures A. Whether a surface is horizontal B. Whether a surface is vertical C. The external size of an object. D. The internal size of an object. Questions 18 Answer D. The internal size of an object. Explanation The legs of an inside caliper measure the distance between the two inside edges of an object. This is a tool for measuring the internal size of an object. Question 19. The typical type of battery found in most vehicles is a a. Lead-acid battery b. 
Lead alkaline battery. C. Lithium ion battery. D. Nickel cadmium battery. Questions 19 Answer A. Lead acid battery. Explanation Lead acid batteries is composed of lead plates in an electrolyte bath of sulfuric acid and water. While lead based battery technology is dated, its power profile, dependability, and low cost make it ideal for automotive use. Question 20. Which type of hand saw is best for cutting metal? A. Rip saw. B. Back saw. C. Hacksaw. D. Coping saw. Questions 20. Answer. C. Hacksaw. Explanation. A hacksaw would be the best choice for cutting metal. A hacksaw generally has a C-shaped frame that holds the blade tight and vary in the number of teeth per inch. Question 21. Soldering differs from welding in that it A. Requires a torch. B. Creates a stronger bond. C requires a higher temperature. D. Does not melt the work pieces. Questions 21 answer. D. Does not melt the work pieces. Explanation. Soldering involves melting another metal to stick together the base metals. Welding uses high temperatures to melt the actual base metals together. Question 22. The AQ is known more commonly as the vehicles? A. Brain. B. Heart. C. Nervous system. D. Ignition system. Questions 22. Answer. A. Brain. Explanation. The engine control unit. AQ, is the vehicle's computer, it is responsible for monitoring and controlling most of the vehicle's functions. It functions much like a brain. Question 23, the pictured tool is a? A. Pipe wrench. B. Ratchet wrench. C. Allen wrench. D. Soccer trench. Questions 23 Answer A. Pipe wrench. Explanation A wrench is a tool used to loosen or tighten a fastener. A socket wrench is an adjustable wrench with serrated jaws that make it easier to grip soft pipes. It is similar in appearance to a monkey wrench. Question 24. What is the ideal air to fuel ratio in a typical engine? A. 02,06.4. B. 14.7 to 1. C. 2.2 to 1. D. 15,01.6. Question 24 Answer. B. 14.7 to 1. Explanation. The most successful and efficient stoichiometric air fuel ratio for a gasoline engine is 14.7 pounds of air combined with 1 pound of fuel. Question 25. In order to level a surface across a plane, one might use a. A. 
Line level. B. Water level. C. Bullseye spirit level. D. Tubular spirit level. Questions 25 Answer C. Bullseye Spirit Level Explanation A bullseye spirit level is a circular device filled with liquid. The position of a bubble in the liquid serves to level your surface across a plane. When the bubble is in the bullseye, the surface is level in two dimensions. Question 26 which automotive system uses the following components, battery, distributor, coil wire, and spark plugs? A. Exhaust system B. Braking system C. Ignition system D. Engine cooling system Questions 26 Answer C. Ignition System Explanation A vehicle's ignition system is divided into low-voltage and high-voltage subsystems known as the primary and secondary ignition systems. These systems require a battery, a distributor, coil wires, and spark plugs to operate. Question 27 the coil wire in an ignition system a times the spark b generates the signal that operates the ignition module c transmits voltage from the distributor cap to the spark plug d transmits voltage from the coil winding to the distributor cap Questions 27 Answer D. Transmits voltage from the coil winding to the distributor cap. Explanation The coil wire moves a high amount of voltage from the secondary coil winding to the distributor cap. From there it is directed to each cylinder in the engine. Question 28 an engine's job is to convert fuel into a heat b exhaust c motion d potential energy questions 28 answer c motion explanation cars burn fuel to power the rotation of their tires to move. Question 29. Your woodwork has a slightly uneven plane. Which tool should you use to correct the problem? A. A rasp. B. A file. C. A chisel. D. A plane. Questions 29 Answer D. A plane. Explanation A plane is a tool that flattens, reduces the thickness of, or smooths the surface. This is generally done through the use of an angled blade. Question 30 The purpose of a muffler is to A. Convert toxins. B. Reduce noise. C. Funnel exhaust out into the air. D. Send gas into the catalytic converter. Questions 30 Answer B. Reduce noise. Explanation The muffler is a soundproofing device that muffles the sounds of the engine and then sends exhaust to the tailpipe. Question 31. 
Which type of nut is this? A. T. B. Acorn. C. Hex. D. Cap. Questions 31 Answer, C. Hex. Explanation, a cap nut has a dome top over the end of the fastener. Question 32, on which popular type of tire are the cord plies arranged at 90 degrees to the direction of travel? A. Bias. B. Radial. C. Solid. D. Belted bias. Questions 32 Answer. B. Radial. Explanation. Radial tires, designed for stability and low rolling friction, are the most common tire design for automotive vehicles. Question 33. Which of the following is true of a powered miter saw? A. The blade is circular. B. The blade is embedded in a table. C. To make a cut, one slides the material towards the blade. D. It is vital to use a coolant. Questions 33 Answer A. The blade is circular. Explanation A miter saw is a powered saw with a circular blade that sits on top of a table or bench. It is best for making quick, accurate crosscuts. Question 34 A small hole that ensures drilling accuracy is best made by a a. Drift. B. Cold chisel. C. Pin punch. D. Center punch. Questions 34 Answer. D. Center punch. Explanation. A punch is a tool with a pointed end and a blunt end that is usually struck by a hammer. A center punch is best used for making a starting mark, or dimple, on a surface. Question 35. When accurate measurements of small distances are needed, it is best to use A. A. Caliper. B. Micrometer. C. Spirit level. D. Tape measure. Questions 35 Answer. B. Micrometer. Explanation. Micrometers are clamp-like tools designed to measure accuracy to the thousandth of an inch. They are best for precise measurements of small distances. Question 36. What is the most popular cylinder arrangement for six and eight cylinder engines? A. Inline. B. S type. C. V type. D. Horizontally opposed. Questions 36 Answer. C. V type. Explanation. A V type engine is the most popular engine for six and eight cylinder engines. It is shaped like a V when viewed along the axis of the crankshaft. Question 37. The tool pictured is a A. Two branch. B. Box end wrench. C. Adjustable wrench. D. Open end wrench.
Questions 37 Answer B. Box and Wrench Explanation By applying torque, a box and wrench, in contrast to an open end wrench, loosens a fastener using a ring shaped opening. Question 38 Engine oil viscosity can best be described as A. Kinetic energy. B. Heat resistance. C. Resistance to flow. D. Adherence to flow. Questions 38 Answer C. Resistance to flow. Explanation Answer C. Engine oil viscosity can be thought of as its thickness or resistance to flow. The viscosity must be high enough to maintain a lubricating film but low enough that it can circulate under all conditions. A number indicates the viscosity of the oil. Question 39. A stick welder melts metal with the heat from A. Applied pressure B. A fuel burning torch. C. An electric current. D. Electromagnetic forces. Questions 39 Answer C. An electric current. Explanation A stick welder is used in electric car welding. This is a process that uses an electric current to form an arc between the machine's electrode and the metals to be joined. The heat from the current melts both the electrode and the base metals. Question 40. During the compression stroke, the piston moves towards which position? A. BMC. B. TMC. C. BDC. D. TDC. Questions 40 Answer. D. TDC. Explanation. During the compression stroke, the piston moves upwards, towards TDC, and compresses the fuel and air in the cylinder. Once it reaches TDC, the fuel is ignited and that force pushes the piston down, towards BDC. TDC refers to the piston's position at the top of the cylinder, top dead center, while BDC, bottom dead center, refers to its place at the bottom of the cylinder. Question 41. When an ABS, or anti-lock brake system, is in operation, the driver will feel A. Nothing. B. A pulsing of the brake pedal. C. A release of the brake pedal. D. A depression of the brake pedal. Questions 41 Answer B. A pulsing of the brake pedal. Explanation An anti lock brake system is a safety system that prevents car wheels from locking up. This helps a driver avoid uncontrolled skidding and maintain control of the vehicle. The system works in the following manner sensors notice when one wheel is about to lock up, usually when it is decelerating rapidly. Then, pressure is reduced to that brake, then increased then decreased, etc. This causes the pulsing feeling in the brake pedal. This ensures that the tire slows down at the same time as the car and does not lock up. Question 42. The alternator is driven by the engines? A. Pistons. B. Camshaft. C. Crankshaft. D. Intake valve.
Questions 40 to answer. C. Crankshaft. Explanation. The battery charges while the car is running. This is because the crankshaft in the engine powers a belt that powers the alternator. Question 43. A rasp is used to A. Make deep cuts. B. Make small holes. C. Smooth coarse surfaces. D. Fix pieces together. Questions 43 answer. C. Smooth coarse surfaces. Explanation. A rasp is a finishing tool used for shaping or smoothing surfaces. It is usually designed to have a handle attached to a metal bar with teeth. A rasp is similar to a file, but makes coarser cuts. Question 44. What is the purpose of a fuel rail? A. Controls engine speed. B. Supplies fuel to the fuel injectors. C. Distributes air to the intake ports. D. Filters contaminants from the fuel. Questions 44 answer. B. Supplies fuel to the fuel injectors. Explanation. The fuel rail is essentially a pipe that delivers fuel to each fuel injector in an engine. Question 45. The pictured engine component is part of the secondary ignition system. What is it? A. Battery. B. Spark plug. C. Ignition module. D. Primary coil winding. Questions 45 answer. B. Spark plug. Explanation. The spark plug generates the spark needed to combust the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber. Question 46. The type of screwdriver pictured is A. A. Torx. B. Phillips. C. Flat tip. D. Robertson. Questions 46. Answer. B. Phillips. Explanation. A Phillips head, or tip, screwdriver is recognizable by its plus sign shaped head. Question 47. Brakes work by converting the car's kinetic energy into A. Heat energy. B. Electric energy. C. Elastic energy. D. Chemical energy. Questions 47. Answer. A. Heat energy. Explanation. The movement of the car is decreased when pressure is put on the tires. Friction turns kinetic energy into heat energy. Question 48. A C-clamp is tightened with the A. Turning of a screw. B. Force of a lever. C. Use of a pulley. D. Rotation of a wheel. Questions 48 Answer A. Turning of a screw. Explanation A C clamp is powered by a simple machine, the screw. When the screw is turned, it tightens or releases the pressure of the clamp, either holding together pieces of a project or releasing them.
Question 49. The best method for cleaning a surface prior to soldering is to use a a flux b stinger c filter rod d core solder Questions 49 answer a flux explanation Fluxes are chemical agents used to clean a surface before soldering. Question 50. Moderated by the voltage regulator, system voltage during regular car operation is around A. 10 volts B. 15 volts C. 20 volts D. 25 volts. Questions 50 answer B. 15 volts. Explanation Normally, the system voltage is around 14.5 volts. Car accessories increase the demand on the system, dropping the voltage, but this is compensated by the voltage regulator which increases the alternator's output until the system voltage is back to approximately 15.